Hey guys, today me and Andrew are gonna be trying three candy bars from Chocolate Works. Um, I have the birthday cake. We also have pretzel, peanut butter, and everything you love. We'll see about that. <laughs> these, uh, we bought these at World Market. They were $3.99. Yeah, per candy they're, bar. They're thick. They're three and a half ounces is what mine are. Is uh, mine is. Yes. Yes, three and a half ounces. 99 grams. Uh, we're gonna try the birthday cake one first. Um, these were made in Freeport, New York. Mm -hmm. By Fifth Avenue Chocolatiers, LLC, in oh. Freeport, New York. This one says, celebrate every day. It's Belgian chocolate goodness, colorful cake batter celebration. That's what mine says. Um, celebrate every day like it's your birthday. With smooth cake batter chocolate covered in festive rainbow sprinkles. It's a, oh, they are cut. I was seeing this. That's the actual bottom of the camera. That, it's split up on the top. So that's cool. How easy is it going to be to open? It looks like a fold package. It actually has a little sticky tape right there, or sticky section. So you can pull it out, snap, no, say snap it all, or, yeah, bring snap it all, and then the whole thing out. Because I'm just going to go for one here. Yeah, I'm just taking it out for the picture. <clears throat> the big old hunk of chocolate. That's too small for me to read, even with glasses. I cannot eat too many pieces of that in one sitting. It's very sweet. Because how rich that is. Mm -hmm. that's, almost, that's almost like fudge. So, it, you can I have, can read the number, but I can't see anything else. Four of these pieces is 210 calories. That's a lot of calories. So, four. you're looking at, what, 52? 52 and a half calories a piece. Yeah, it's quite a bit of calories. It, it's the- So uh, every square, this right here, is 52, 52 calories. Um, I like the flavor of it. It does have a birthday cake flavor. Mm -hmm. It has a vanilla kind of flavor. The texture is weird. It's not creamy. It's, it's kind of chalky. It, yes, it falls apart. Yeah, it's kind it's of got a, a chalky kind of feel to it. Not in a bad way necessarily. I don't mind the texture of this, it's different. But it's not like a creamy melt in your mouth kind of chalky. I probably would get that if you let it sit on your tongue. But um, it's different. Yeah, it's got like a little chalky, a chalky feel. I'm trying to, I was trying to oh, see like if, if it could give that away in here, and it really doesn't. No, it's probably just how it's made, whipped up, or who knows. But yeah, I mean, not bad whatsoever no, at all. I just like it. It's very texture. sweet. Very sweet. I kind of um, like the texture though. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the pretzel peanut butter. By the way, these were taped on the back and sealed. I just cut the tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this to oh, him, the stuff. and it's kind of broken, but that's okay. Yeah. And I'll read all this. So pretzel and peanut butter savor the amazing blend of the salty crunch of the pretzel with the smooth flavors of peanut butter and chocolate. It's a divine flavor combination, handmade by Master Chocolatiers. You see me slowly went into the thing there. Yes, it is. But yes, Belgian chocolate goodness, crunchy, salty, and creamy. Now so we shall see. Um, <coughs> 10 more calories on this so four pieces 220 so a little more than the last one still still at that 50 plus per square that piece has got all pretzel on it my only complaint is it's got two big pretzels stuck in the back and if you don't get a piece that's got a pretzel on it you can just get a piece there's chocolate oh, there was like three is there only two mm -hmm. so no oh, three but so there's three pretzels so if you you're that's why i'm grabbing this because this is mainly what you're going to get you're going to get a small pretzel and big chocolate mm -hmm. you said there's peanut butter mm -hmm. i didn't get peanut butter did you get peanut butter no not really i don't taste one hint of peanut butter I like the chocolate though. The chocolate's really, really good. Smooth flavors of peanut butter and chocolate. So they've mixed peanut butter into their chocolate, but it's not enough because mm -hmm. the chocolate comes through. Now it's... I like the peanut butter. It's a I good, mean, I like the chocolate. It's really good. It's a good creamy milk chocolate, mm -hmm. and I love the pretzel edition, but there's not enough pretzels. No. Should have should have switched that up a bit yeah. and, and done it and had just had a crunchy. I would have rather had the pretzel sprinkles like them. Yes, exactly. Crunched up and put out the sprinkle on top than the whole pretzels. That would have been a way to do it. It looks so. cooler with whole pretzels, but it doesn't taste the, the as taste good. Is not as good. 
So, okay. I love the chocolate though. Chocolate's really good. I like the texture and the flavor of the chocolate itself, but it's not peanut butter at all. So this is everything you love. Everything which I love. looks like a dark, a wow, very, very dark chocolate. Very dark chocolate. <laughs> Which has all kinds of mini chocolate chips and M and M's and caramel. looks like little caramel chips yeah, caramel and bits. sprinkles. I mean, it is a explosion of things. But if it's dark chocolate, you know, you're really, taste you're not gonna taste that of it. So it's just Belgian chocolate goodness um, filled with sweet surprises. So let's see what it has to say. Enjoy the Belgian dark. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say dark chocolate because that's obviously what it is. That's true. But, but it doesn't say. Enjoy, yeah, it does. Enjoy dark Belgian chocolate. I was going to say Belgian dark. dark. I'm dyslexic. Enjoy dark Belgian chocolate covered with M&M's, chocolate, and peanut butter chips, plus non-pareils. That's a little bitty um, sparkles. non -pareils. A sweet feast handmade by Master Chocolatiers. But yes, so it just depends on how dark. You want to get in your feast, too. All right. This has a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. so here we go. Nice chocolate, nice texture. Love the texture. It's mm -hmm. a little. It's got a little snap to it, but it's not really, really, really snappy. That's not bad dark chocolate. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not super bitter dark chocolate. Which is alarming considering how dark it, it is. It looks dark. It looks so dark. It's almost as dark as this package. You know? Yeah, it really is. Um, I don't get a lot of the flavors beyond the chocolate though. It reminds me of those little snow caps. Yeah, yeah. You get the little crunch from the. You little, get the little. You get the little crunch. Plus, you get the, the chewy of the chips. Yeah. That's probably my favorite. Of course, I have a dark chocolate person, but that's probably my favorite of these three. That's the one I would buy. Um, you know, if if they had marketed the pretzel peanut butter as just pretzel and chocolate, I probably would have went with that. Mm -hmm. But since they market it as peanut butter and it doesn't have any, I wouldn't pick that one. I would get the darker one too. Everything now, you love. Because I, I really like the, the chocolate in that one. Because I'm wanting to eat another piece of the chocolate, this dark <laughs> chocolate, right now. So that's very, very good. That that wins for me. Yeah. And um, I think my, you know, someone like my wife would want the white chocolate here. See, Tammy would probably like the white chocolate because she's uh, she likes that birthday cake kind of flavor, that vanilla, which it was and, really, and really good. The only good. downside to that is it's not creamy. It's chalky. Kind of chalky and it explodes yeah. into it's like pieces. So. Yeah. It's but good quality. I think the quality is really good. The only the only really the only place they failed was the peanut butter. Yes, on there's that. no peanut butter flavor whatsoever no. at all. I, neither one of us got it. So. Yeah. So, but the best one out of the bunch, I think, is that everything you love. Oh so, yeah, hundred percent. So thanks for watching. Um, we'll have a picture at the end for you, and we'll catch you next time.